So uh, yes, as, as mentioned, I'm uh, I'm pleased to be here and uh, share with you uh, uh, some of our learnings uh, that, uh, that that we have taken from our uh, Oran uh, journey, Oran solution development. Um, I would like to give you a broad overview um, about about that journey and um, and uh, and also context and and then also focus a little bit uh, on what uh, what role uh, uh, some of the open source communities play in uh, in our development and in particular. Uh, to give you uh, some update uh, how uh, how we use on up and why it is important uh, for uh, for us that um, that this that this kind of community effort is is really uh, taking place and is successful so um let me start uh, a little bit on a broader um, uh, and uh, here to uh, go into the kind of key drivers uh, for us why we go uh, into into softwareization into into disaggregation and and lately also uh, the role of uh, some of the solutions coming out of the um, open source communities uh, but but really let me let me start where we come from so uh, um, Deutsche Telekom we are uh, uh, um, brownfield brownfield operator um, uh, that is um, that is having really large uh, uh, large install base of uh, of radio access networks in in, in our markets. Um, we have also a complex spectrum holding uh, involving uh, um, a large uh, large footprint of different uh, different spectrum components. And we are driven by. Uh, by performance, network quality, and and efficiency, and if you if you look at that from this perspective, um, uh, our and um, our solutions that 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 we deploy uh, need to support um, not only four G and five G, but um, but still uh, also two G, um, for example. And uh, in order to uh, to get a solution, uh, we uh, what we see today is is really a handful of uh, only a handful of vendors who can who can support that. So uh, so that's what we that's what we mean here by ecosystem challenge because uh, the solutions that that are deployed are tightly integrated um, monolithical solutions. Um, and that that are supporting all these um, uh, all these capabilities. <clears throat> uh, also, what is what is important to to consider uh, for a radio is that uh, it is largely uh, distributed uh, topology. Basically, it involves uh, a lot of uh, an, an, a lot of aspects uh, like regulation, getting access to. Uh, uh, to the sites, uh, it is uh, requiring um, fiber to the, um, uh, the to the sites. So uh, what it goes to is that uh, the deployment uh, and and cost related to it is uh, is substantial, and and obviously it's a, it's the largest cost block in the in the mobile network TCO, and uh, and. It also uh, has uh, has low low flexibility because of all these uh, all these constraints. And the other thing is that um, when you think about um, modernization of these uh, uh, of these deployments, it's it's, it's really uh, uh, long lasting um, uh, and costly uh, costly exercise because of all the uh, uh, all the points I have um, I have already uh, already mentioned. And um, uh, last but not least, uh, uh, where we look at this from an innovation perspective and primarily driven by the fact that these solutions are tightly integrated hardware software solutions, um, uh, this, is, this is limiting um, uh, innovation, innovation speed um, that, uh, that, uh, that, that we see, uh, you know, for example, um, in, in today's solution, so you you need to go through the design of the algorithm and and related basement chip and 
and that uh, and that takes uh, and that takes a lot of uh, a lot of time and that's what we mean by uh, limited um, innovation uh, flexibility so so this is what what is driving us to look at um, different approaches uh, how we can uh, we can design and build um, radio access networks and now um, what we uh, what we did in on, on DT side is um, because if you look at Oran this is uh, this is a really broad uh, broad broad term in fact. Um, DT also um, uh, co-founded uh, Oran Alliance, which is the initiative that is um, defining interfaces specification. It is defining architecture, and it is also uh, uh, also driving uh, open source um, development of the uh, of the Run uh, solution um, components. Uh, but in that uh, in that large uh, uh, environment. Uh, if you will, uh, for our uh, uh, for our initial uh, steps, uh, we have focused on on three three important components. So the first one is an adoption of the open front hall, and um, that that is uh, that is allowing you to deploy uh, a multi vendor um, radio access network from the perspective that radio. Uh, radio unit comes from one vendor and the baseband or, or the, uh, most of the RAN uh, protocol step processing is coming from uh, from the other vendor. So that's what we mean by RUBBU decoupling. So that's one key component um, that we are focusing on in that, uh, in that adoption. The second one is um, hardware software decoupling and uh, bringing uh, cloudification benefits uh, into the RAN. Uh, so this is uh, this is critical for for ecosystem uh, uh, at first as well because if you look at new new run vendors they uh, they they will not develop uh, uh, their own bare metal solution so they um, are focusing on uh, uh, on using uh, COTS hardware. The second, uh, the second aspect of hardware software decoupling can be that uh, uh, also addressing the innovation challenge that I mentioned because uh, decoupling hardware and software development cycle is, uh, is definitely allowing to use uh, the different approaches in both domains and, uh, and again, uh, foster innovation speed. And thirdly, uh, 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 maybe not in the initial in, in the initial steps to be the focus, but uh, also uh, cloudification in that space allows um, uh, uh, the um, resources sharing with potentially uh, other other use cases or other applications, especially uh, on the on the edge of the network. So uh, these are. Uh, the key components uh, that we focus on in the um, in the RAN disaggregation, and <clears throat> now here uh, a little little bit uh, what are what are kind of key learning components, if you will, uh, that 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 we have in on, on our Oran Oran journey. So the first one I want to mention is that uh, we uh, we have um, started so-called Oran Town, which is which is an effort where we deployed uh, really truly multi-vendor Oran uh, Oran-based solution. Uh, and it is um, currently in the in the friendly user trial phase. It's a limited uh, and limited deployment, and it also uh, adopted. Uh, and for the first time in, in, in Europe, massive MIMO capability uh, was integrated. It, uh, it also involves, and I will come, uh, come back to this point in the, in the, in, on the next pages, and it involves uh, um, uh, SMO approach and, uh, and uh, automation. So the DT um, has been investing into development of uh, independent management framework, as mentioned. So uh, that's a component uh, uh, that, uh, that that we are focusing on. As a third point, um, 
in order to foster uh, uh, foster sustainable uh, ecosystem and also uh, uh, help uh, the the new uh, new newcomers into that into that field so that they can contribute into the solution. Uh, uh, we have started an activity in Berlin uh, called I14 Wild Up. So it's an effort where we are deploying uh, a, a kind of reference uh, or based uh, architecture that would uh, that that will allow uh, a component or sub uh, subsystem um, solution providers to to come in, integrate, and do interoperability tests, and with that also um, uh, a kind of uh, uh, help with the productization of the of the solution uh, the the other thing that is that is very important is that also for us uh, in order to go on the journey uh, uh, new new skills need to be uh, developed uh, in in terms of competencies and also also capacities and that is also related to another point um, that uh, that I listed here, it's a new operating model. So moving away from uh, tightly integrated solutions um, into the disaggregated, uh, of course, introduces a lot of complexity, but also it uh, requires um, uh, service providers uh, like ourselves to take uh, to take more responsibility and. In that uh, in that context, uh, we uh, we are really looking at into which tasks in this in this whole kind of value chain, from uh, um, from uh, designing requirements, bringing sub components, integrating, and um, finally deploying and operating. Which 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 task, for example, in the system integration space, uh, we uh, we should be uh, we should be taking and which are uh, then the task uh, for uh, for other players that are better positioned uh, in, in on the market to uh, to drive and last but not least uh, uh, the the other uh, key focus area for us at the moment is also vendor selection so uh, who will be uh, uh, the, um, uh, the vendor for for large scale uh, future large scale um, deployments so moving now uh, a little bit uh, more in detail into the uh, in, 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 into this point of uh, independent um, management framework as mentioned um, that one is uh, for us a critical component because uh, uh, in that uh, in that area we believe that it is enabling uh, the supplier flexibility because uh, we are uh, gaining uh, uh, gaining a control point here uh, that would allow uh, uh, easier uh, replacement or evolution of the of the subcomponents. And of course, uh, what is often uh, 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 often highlighted, and it's uh, uh, and that's what we see also in our uh, uh, in in our efforts is that. Disaggregation brings uh, complexity, and uh, that uh, that complexity to to really manage uh, cloud native deployment, uh, having an CNF based run functions requires uh, requires a lot of automation for uh, uh, keeping um, uh, keeping efficiency. So uh, in that space, uh, SMO uh, with uh, with its capabilities. Is playing a major role in the in the target target picture, and it then also requires uh, an integration into uh, into existing uh, IT landscapes, um, and also it will require uh, uh, a lot of uh, transformation uh, transformational efforts, if you will. Uh, to uh, to be able to um, uh, to take the benefit out of uh, out of this approach. Uh, what I mean by that is that um, uh, if you look at today's uh, if you look at today's operating models, it is it is really uh, often often using uh, the sequential waterfall um, of processes that is uh, that is. Um, uh, involving uh, a lot of large upfront uh, design, and then you have organizations 
uh, focused with its expertise on 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 the uh, on the sequential steps like uh, design, procurement, implementation, integration, etc. Uh, while now uh, going into the uh, in, into the, the DevOps software driven uh, network uh, network deployment, the design and operation. Uh, it's, uh, it requires more uh, cross-functional uh, uh, cross-functional approach, with, uh, which is optimized uh, optimized by uh, by flow, and uh, this is one of the important uh, important aspects related to um, adoption of uh, of open and disaggregated solutions. So. Um, in the uh, in the last step here, uh, what I wanted to uh, to share with the community here is um, that our um, our uh, approach uh, for the SMO development and, the, and, and that SMO platform uh, we call, by the way, uh, TNAP, uh, like uh, shown here. Uh, so um, that is uh, that, that is based on uh, on ONAP uh, and. Uh, why did we choose that? Is that um, because it's it's an open architecture? It's uh, it's a platform approach, and uh, basically important components uh, are, are already um, pre-integrated, and uh, we do not need to uh, care about uh, individual sourcing and and, and related uh, related complexities. But at the same time, it it also uh, it also enable, uh, enables um, a customization, and and for us it's also uh, an effort where we are looking at uh, the feasibility of the approach to uh, to use uh, 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 large uh, open source uh, code base. So uh, if we use like ninety nine percent of uh, or open source code. Um, uh, uh, so how how we could uh, take um, how we could take run use case into this um, into this domain. So that's what we have been uh, focusing on. Uh, and, and then clearly for us uh, was also to uh, to look at if we can. Um, a proof uh, that uh, we can manage uh, the uh, complexity associated with that, especially in the um, in the in the operations uh, use case. What we uh, what we did is in, uh, is in, uh, in 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 our development effort is really to uh, focusing on day zero, day one uh, use cases. So especially these um, the design and and runtime capabilities. So. How we can uh, uh, perform uh, a site installation? How we can create association of, of radio units to uh, uh, to appropriate DU, and then uh, uh, how the configuration tasks can be uh, can be realized uh, with um, with that solution. And um, future focus in that uh, in that area will be to uh, to uh, uh, to develop uh, a more day two, uh, day two related use cases. So uh, a closed loop automation, some of the non real time capabilities to uh, to enable uh, to enable innovation. And it is and as it is it is a community a community effort. Uh, we are also uh, planning to uh, to contribute uh, with. Um, and some of the development uh, uh, we are driving, and especially we are looking at uh, the portal uh, a component, which is the component that is interact that is basically allowing users to interact with the automation capabilities, um, etc. So that's that's an area where we would also like to encourage the community to. Um, uh, and, and to back up this effort and um, and 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 use it and also uh, uh, enhance it and then also uh, also contribute uh, contribute back. So that's uh, also our uh, uh, our encouragement here to uh, that that we all together strengthen the uh, community engagement in this in this effort because uh, that would also uh, drive uh, a future success.
So that's uh, um, that's what I um, prepared for today. Thank you so much uh, uh, for having me here and uh, wishing uh, the great event. Thank you very much, Peter. I think your your insights into ORAN and obviously the integration with uh, everything is is really good. If you can stop sharing, then we could probably go back into the. Definitely. There you go. Okay, so <clears throat> so so I think the 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 great thing here is I see that you're already sort of picking up the pieces and like like last year I remember. Uh, or you know, in a couple of years, you know, both Alex and and uh, Rosh and, and and your team from you know CTO teams from Deutsche Telekom were thinking of of going out and and deploying, and I think it's amazing to see just in one year you made so much progress across all your networks. So congratulations and really appreciate your support there. Um, and again, I think. Uh, there are no further questions. So I'm just going to say thank you very much for the insights. Appreciate your help. Thank you so much. Again, it was great to meet you here. Okay, thank you.